Okay, hello everybody. Um, so this is gonna be the third video of maple syrup, the tutorial. So um, you're gonna start with the high E on the 12th fret. So you're gonna pluck it th three times. And on the third pick, you slide down to um, the ninth. You don't have to necessarily plug to the ninth. You just have to slide. I just do it to the ninth, but you can just kind of, you know, so you pluck three times, okay, and the third, pluck, you slide, and you hit on the B string now, uh, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10, 9, so pluck 10 twice on the B string, and then the ninth on the B string, back to the tenth. And you hit 12, 10, 12. Let me turn this down. So that's what you should have. 10, 10, 9, 10, 12, 10, 12. And you hit the ninth and slide to the 13th on the high E. And then you pluck, pluck it twice. Oh. Pluck it three times actually on the high E of the 13th. And on the third pick, you slide down to just the ninth or you can slide just in general to whatever. So after you slide, you hit 12, 12, 10, 12, 12, on the B string, by the way, 12, 12, 10, 12, and then 9 on the E, high E, and then 12 on the B, 9 on the high E, 10 on the high E, and you slide to the 14th fret. Okay. And again, you do that. Plug it three times on the third. You slide. And we're gonna hit the fourteenth on the B string twice. Then you hit twelve on the B, fourteen on the B. 15 on the B, 14 on the B, 15 on the B, 12 on the high E, 15 on the B, and then 14 on the B. <clears throat> okay? And you can replay that as many times as you want. Um, but let me show you what it kind of should sound like. Oh, crap. Let me restart. That's what that sound last part should sound like. Okay. So that should be what we have so far. Okay, so um, like I said, this isn't 100% correct, like how Josh plays it, but it's my way of playing it, and I think it's a pretty, I, don't, I mean, good way to play it. I don't know, it sounds good, but it's not exact. So um, feel free to 
add your own flavor to it. This is just my flavor, so. And again, you can play this however you want. So uh, I'm playing it just with my individual fingers, but you can actually figure out a way to bar it and play it like that instead. So it makes it, I don't know, if easier for you. Okay, so afterwards, you're gonna hit the 15th, 14th on the B. So this is gonna be, uh, for the most part, on the B. So 15, 14, 12, 14, 12, 10, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10. So 15, 14, tw 12, 14. So 15, 14, 12, 14. I'm gonna play this part a little bit slower because it's kind of, it's a lot going on. 15, 14, 12, 14. And then you let go, hit the 12th. That's what you should have. Hit the 10th on the B. Twelfth on the B. Tenth on the B again. And I'm alternate picking, so make sure you have that down. And then you slide down to the ninth. And you hit the 10th, 9th, 10th, kind of do that. So you do that, Ch try to listen to it, because uh, this is a pretty weird part here, where you go from the 10th to the 9th, 10th to the 9th, while you're alt alternate picking. Hold on. Okay. It's that part. So listen very closely. Okay, that's how it should be played at the end. And once you have uh, that middle finger on the 10th or whatever you're doing, just make sure uh, the last note you're playing is that 10th fret on the B string. <clears throat> okay. So, that last time you hit the B string, you're gonna want to use your pinky to hit it. Kind of harmonize. Okay. Like that so I'm kind of using baby steps to kind of show you how it's done so okay like that so you kind of after you hit that the first time you do it again with the tongue so really try to listen and make sure you you're hearing it So 9, 10, 9, 10, and then you harmonize with the B and the high E on the 12th. So all in all, you should have this. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to hit the 9th on the high Hit it twice, by the way. Then you hit the twelfth on the B. So twice on the ninth on the high E. 
um, once on the B of the on the 12th fret and then you let go <clears throat> have your middle finger there ready so it's gonna be the 10th on the B You put your finger down on the 12th again of the B string. It should sound like that. And then you hit the, you harmonize the 12th on the B string and the 13th on the E. Okay, so here we are. So you just do that twice. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that makes sense. So 9, 9, 12, 10, 12, harmonize. you hit the ninth on the <clears throat> high E string and here all I'm doing is barring the last two strings hit the third the 14th and then slide down to the 12th fret and hit that twice and you just kind of repeat rinse and repeat Okay, so you go from the 14th now to the <clears throat> 17th. You slide to it and you hit it. Then you hit the 12th, 14th, slide again to the 17th. And you hit it again that last time and then you slide again back to the 12th it should sound like that and you do 12th 14 again but you slide to the uh, 19th fret so you go 12th 14 you hit 14th again and you slide to the 19th and of course you hit it on the 19th again after you or before you slide <clears throat> it's kind of comp uh it's really hard to explain honestly i'm trying my best here so all in all you should should have something that sounds like this Okay, and then you just pluck any, or you pull down any string over here, anywhere. I typically just use a three. And then I slide to the, this is on the B string, by the way. And you slide to the uh, 15th fret <clears throat> of the B string. And then you hit the 14th fret of the B string. Back to 15th of the B string. You hit the 14th of the high E string. So yeah, slide to the 15th, 14th, 15th, uh, 14th on the high E. And then you hit the 12th fret of the high E twice. So you sh it should sound like this. And you just do it do it again except you don't slide anymore. Just do this pattern. And then on the last 
last time, <clears throat> you just do 15, 14, 15th on the B, and you hit the, the 12th fret of the A string, and you just slide anywhere. And then you do this chord, which is um, E, A, D, G, the G string on the second fret and the B string on the third fret. And you just do this pattern. So all in all, it should sound like this. Something like that. Hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Um, <clears throat> the solo is pretty complex and my fingers pretty much have it memorized down to the point where it's hard to really explain. So uh, hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. So yeah, see you next time.